So, the tutorials don't work in this free model, drive safely, car spawn, freeze model, car spawner does not work either. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a very good car spawner for your game. It's it's a basic one, but, you know, uh, it's uh, much better than uh, what is currently out there with some of the free models. First thing you need to do is go into the link of the description of this video then open uh, and then join my discord page which, then once you join the discord go into the links tab right here which is under important and then grab this car spawner blueprint click that it's a free model you can add it uh and then it will appear right here in your my models category so and then you take this out and then you'll have this and i'll show you how to install this so first thing that you want to do is just leave this this is uh, this is already programmed this is pretty good i'll explain how the scripts work in a bit but i'm just trying to make this very quick so you guys can get to installing this without me talking too much. But look, okay, go to this important brick, and then you'll see there are three things in here that are very important, obviously. Take this vehicles folder, this folder, and then move it to server storage. It's very important you put it in server storage, not server scripts, service, but server storage. Keep that in there. And the reason why we do that is if you open this up, and then you go down here, and if we take a look, if you go here, this thing right here, this, this, part right here is basically telling the game is like yo there's something in the server script storage and you're gonna have to spawn that and that's basically what the script is saying and so that's why this is the most important part it ha this should have the same name as whatever you have down here if they're not matching they're not going to work together but they are now so it's good and if you don't like white then you can highlight this and then you can just change the colors over here i'm gonna go with purple because if you're an og like me then you'll remember uh a lot of old roblox spawners car spawners or whatever they used to be they had like plastic purple bricks on them so uh it's a nice way to pay homage all right so you're basically almost done based trying to get your first car so okay over here uh, you have to get your first car so i have some cars over here we can grab this uh we can grab uh, as many as you'd like in these folders it doesn't matter this car spawner will name it 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 the will name the things itself so it already has a menu and everything you just have to add, drag and drop so uh let's see we're gonna put this car in here before you want to insert your vehicles you need to go back to your important brick here and then grab this thing called pickup and if you don't know what this is this is a pickup script so if you go into your driver's seat most cars will have this or should have this then just paste this in and delete the old one that you had and replace it with the new one uh, just make sure you do that with all these cars or otherwise if you try to delete or respawn your vehicle It's not gonna work that well Also, I think I should mention that like if you only you're only going to be able to use one car So like you won't be like with the ELS the ELS will be bugging out if you switch between different vehicles and stuff So like if you take a car your car and then you try using your friend's car Then like their ELS won't match and it will just cause problems and the car will get confused And it will think that this car is actually your car and uh yeah but you shouldn't run into that problem it's just only one card that you'll use that's why games like liberty county and society don't allow you to change different vehicles because otherwise the scripts won't work so fun little factoid and as you can see it's it's like a bare bones menu i mean this works it still works it's very good and look automatically the stuff is named by itself and then it's like a loop thing so you don't have to press back if you don't want to but if you do that's cool all right let's spawn something There you go. Car spawning. And check this out. Check this out. You can delete your vehicle or if you spawn a car. Okay. Let's say you drive that away. Okay. Now, because we have that pickup script in, otherwise this won't, I, uh, that's why we're adding the pickup script or otherwise the thing won't work properly. But look, if you drive it away and you try spawning a new car, that car will automatically delete itself. You don't even have to press delete. It will just automatically like delete itself. So that's pretty cool, so, uh, because otherwise you're just going to have like crazy amount of parts in the game and it's just going to lag and it's just going to be bad. Now the thing is, is that this would work with different spawners, so if you have one... Someone's calling me, bro. Alright, so if you have multiple car spawners, then it's going to be geet. So look, watch. It. Let's say you have different teams. So let's say this is like a car spawner for like a police team and then you want to have a car spawner for a civ team. No problem. Just duplicate that. Let's move this here just for an example. We can also change the color. We'll go with the classical red because this is from GTA 4, obviously. Now what you're going to want to do is open this. Go to here, here, down here. Go here and then change the name of this vehicle spawner. Because otherwise, if we just leave it the same, then both of these spawners will be the, the exact same, will be spawning the exact same vehicles, okay? 
there'll be no difference so like you can duplicate these spawners and stuff but since we're not going to want to do that we're going to want to have different cars we can name this something else we can name this vehicles one we can name this vehicles one then we go down here then we duplicate the folder that is in server storage then go here go right here vehicles one and just to prove that i'm not lying we're going to delete that and we're going to add in some new car all right watch we go here and look it's only one car here there was three cars in that spawner so we're going to spawn this here you know standard car is whatever and we're going to go over here and look even though it's a different spawner it will still delete so that's pretty cool all right one more important thing i want to show you is this random color script we're going to copy that and i'm going to show you guys how this works so let's grab the unmarked dodge charger because that will be the easiest to work with now what you want to do is you want to go into like like let's say you have a civ car or whatever and uh you're trying to spawn it with different colors not just one color all the time so you want to go into body and we're going to go into we're going to go into the uh, sep it has to be a separate section like grouped out w with the actual colors of the car and it has to be named color like this uh, the American way of spelling, not the normal way with the U. It just has to be spelled like this. Or you could just go in the script and change it with capital letters, whatever. Look. And then you paste it in with this grouped area. And uh, if you open this up, you see it will give you a random brick color. Um, whatever it is that Roblox chooses for you. Um, there you go. If you want to change the name to color, there you go. You can change this and spell it the correct way with a U, but I'm not going to do that as it's already set here. But now, as you'll see, if I put this in the vehicles folder right here for that car spawner, they will spawn every time with a random color. So let's check it. All right, where's the Dodge Charger at? All right, look, you see, it spawns with different color. This is actually a nice electric blue. That's very nice, actually. Spawn it like that. It automatically deletes itself too if you spawn even the same car. That's cool. I like the white. But you see, like, it comes out with, like, these unrealistic colors. But you can always just go in the script and you can just, like, right now, it's just set to any color that Roblox can come up with. But you can always just set it to specific colors if you want it to spawn, like, gray or something like that. Like, look, like, you're not going to be, you're not going to be too undercover with, with a, with a, whatever that is. I like this maroon red. It's giving me, like, these Liberty County vibes. Like, yo, this is actually sick, though. This is cool. Yo. Yo, bro, this is cool. All right, so yo, that, so that's pretty much, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I have in that blueprint kit, whatever you want to call it, uh, for spawning your car. This is basic. I mean, you can always just adjust the GUI if you want to. You can add pictures and things like that. But this is the basic, basic. This is the proper way of doing it. I don't know. What do you guys think? L leave your opinions in the comment section below. Uh, I think it's pretty good. But yeah, either way, that's that's pretty much it in the video. Thank you guys for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Peace.